Hi guys, welcome to this video. If you're like me, I remove pretty much malware on a daily basis nowadays. Uh, malware is pretty rife on the internet, and most people seem to be getting their PCs infected and they don't know how to get rid of it, so they call me. So, if you're like me and you do remove malware pretty often, then this piece of software I'm going to show you is pretty useful and it's going to be uh, pretty useful to keep in your CD kit or on your pen. It's called Avert Software. You can get it from this website here www.avertsoftware.com uh, you can download it here as I said and uh, what it does is it's got eight portable scanners and it will actually download these scanners uh, download these actual scanners onto your drive and then you can run them on from uh, command line scanning it also has a temp file cleaner built into it which is a um, preforms C cleaner also backs up your registry it can actually fix internet problems and stuff like that. I'll show you all that in a second. So let's have a little look at the actual program itself. I've already downloaded it. I've got it on my desktop here. I'm just going to quickly run this. It works with Windows uh, XP, Windows Vista and Windows 7. And if you have a little look here, these are the lists of the actual scanners at the moment that it actually uses. Okay. Now they are planning on adding more. Um, so pretty much uh, in a bit more time you're going to get a lot more scanners on there I should imagine malware bytes will be on there soon and so will super handy for spyware um, so that's going to be pretty useful as well they have got A squared and, and Viper and also AVG uh, VBA32 and Antivi and stuff like that on there Panda so they've got some good ones on there already the good thing about this piece of kit as well let me just agree to this is you can actually run it from a pre-installed environment which means if you've got a bootable pre-installed environment CD, live CD you can have this on there and you can actually download and fix uh, the malware from that environment if you wanted to if the PC doesn't boot so again the, the options are endless really for this piece of kit it's a very basic looking program as you can see um, but it does uh, quite a good job so we can uh, change these complete scan, balance scan, quick scan and custom scan you can change these if you want you to if you don't know what they mean click on this button here and it will give you complete scan give you a bit of blurb there you can read that and so on and so on for the other ones ok so let's have a look at the uh, thorough C cleaner and also essential for the tools if you come on the essential for tools and go to custom you can actually see what it's going to do, it's going to back up the registry and also it ticks in here if you've got internet problems and it will actually Windows host file this uh, resets the Windows host file and restores potential internet issues so if you're getting internet issues that's your little tool there and also put another one in there if you're having to reset the proxy so it resets Windows proxy to re restore or resolve potential internet issues okay so I'm not going to bother those because I haven't got any issues I'm just showing you this video so basically down here you've got two little tabs these could have been a little bit bigger so you can actually see them better so I'm going to check for updates first for this program make sure we've got the latest version it's up to date as you can see click on this now you can see um, basically there's a, a list of stuff here what you need to do is click on installed ok now by default uh, Viper is already downloaded I think and it's greyed out as you can see so that's already there if you don't want to download all these you don't need to put all the ticks in you can actually take some of the ticks out and only download the stuff that you want okay now I would advise to download you know A squared is very underrated it's a very good malware scanner so I'm just gonna quickly uh, let this run I'm just gonna download this A squared okay just to show you and uh, you say yes a little prompt box opens up and as you can see it starts to download it's now saying it's got 21 minutes to download ok so as you can see it's uh, it'll download this and then it'll go to update and run from the command line it'll want to update the signatures and then run that scan let me just cancel this ok <coughs> OK, so click OK because I, I haven't got really the time to download everything and show you. So I'm just going to run some scans now. 
and uh, say yes to that and straight up in the top corner there you'll see see cleaner running and then we'll let that run and then it'll back up the registry and then it'll run probably that Viper I should imagine that's cleaning okay that's the cleaner finished and now it's actually backing up the registry and once it's done that it will go on to start to download the signatures and definitions for that program I should imagine so we'll let that do its thing I'll just pause it at this location you can see uh, Trend Micro is having a scan there it's executing so I'm just going to leave that running and that's basically the way it works really pretty simple command line scanner so I'll just let this scan off as you can see it's scanning the files there and then basically when that comes to the end it will go on to the next scanner and so on and so on and that's pretty much the program really in a nutshell and that's pretty much the end of it after I pause to let that scan and uh, that will be it really so that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you want to give that piece of software a go by all means download it give it a go let us know what you think I think it's pretty good especially in a pre-installed environment it's going to be pretty useful okay obviously you're going to need to make sure you've got internet uh, so you can download them files okay so if you enjoy my videos please remember share support guys hit the subscribe button if you've got any problems head over to the forums okay bye for now